What we do is bring a lot of professionalism and credentials down to this judging process. We take a look at the products. We evaluate the products based on what the manufacturer says for us. Delicious eating is really what it's about. Delicious and nutritious and easy to prepare. I've seen that a lot of the products have become more health conscious for the consumer. Do the consumer research and find out what consumers want. Deliver authenticity using good quality ingredients and uh, representing the product as they would like to serve it in their own home. En espérant que le consommateur sache apprécier et différencier nos produits qui viennent du Canada. Et que les attributs du produit étaient bien disponibles aux consommateurs au point d'achat. We found that over the years, through the Jura process, companies that win the award are usually on the shelf for at least three years. So that gives us a good criteria in the evaluation and the, and the caliber of judges that we have here. Consumers are extremely particular now and they are always looking for the next new product. Customers have less and less time to prepare food. They want variety, they want to be able to choose what's available in the market, uh, and they want something new all the time. Convenience is absolutely a must these days. And I see clients who really have less and less cooking skills and are looking more and more to having prepared products that are giving them the taste of home, but all the nutrition that they need as well. We come down to the ITHQ, which is a very professional organization that's recognized in the industry across Canada as being one of the forefront in the culinary field. Here, we take the products, we cook them as per spec for the manufacturers, we do a taste test, we do the uh, complete product analysis in a comparative method. Are they better value? Are they more nutritional? How is the packaging? What is the color of the packaging? Is it eye appealing? Is it user friendly? Is it over packaged? Some of the innovations are more based along the health industry and why that's important for the Canadian consumer. Using local ingredients, less preservatives, less additives, probiotics, prebiotics. Sodium is a lot more controlled than what it used to be. Portion serving size has also come down, which I think is a good thing. It's great to see more whole grain products on the shelf. They have to be fair. They have to evaluate the product based on its own merits. They have to take a look and see what is innovative about it and have an open mind. The emerging trend for this year has definitely been gluten-free. Communication with clients, on advise the client or the consumer who has absence of gluten and on fait des indications au niveau des instructions sur le produit qui sont très claires. Lactose free, responsibly sourced products. Socially responsible development, things like uh, greener energy, green packaging, and uh, sustainable seafood. On voit une grosse amélioration dans les emballages, dans la qualité des produits et l'assortiment disponible aux consommateurs. My role as chief juror is to create a standard that is used from one Grand Prix to another so that the product judging is always consistent. The Grand Prix is doing great work. They've been doing it over the last 20 years and they should keep it up and keep going. Well done. It's well deserved and it's, uh, it's been a wonderful opportunity to work with uh, the Grand Prix every year. Continuez votre bon travail. Uh, continue to push the production local and the products Canadian. The Grand Prix is a wonderful program and I hope it's here for another 20 years. After 20 years, felicitations. Chaque année était de mieux en mieux, et cette année, ça n'était pas moins. Congratulations to the Grand Prix on 20 years of representing new product innovation in Canada and providing manufacturers and retailers a vehicle to really showcase some of the great work that we're doing in Canada in the food industry.